Uh, buns? Can I start the video, please? Can you back up? Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome back and happy Frugal Friday. Today we're going to talk about money. What else do I love to talk about? Today specifically, we're going to talk about your June budget. Today is May 31st and tomorrow starts a fresh month. And I swear, I get so excited when the budget replenishes at the beginning of the month. It's like a clean slate, a fresh start every month, another chance to get it right. For those of you that are not familiar with me yet, I use every dollar to make my budget every single month. If you are a Dave Ramsey follower, you already probably have heard about every dollar. It's my favorite budgeting tool. It's so user-friendly to me. If you like this idea of me going over with you things to think about for the upcoming month so you don't forget something and blow your budget, let me know. I could totally do this every month for you a couple days before the month starts so you don't forget anything. So if you don't follow Dave Ramsey, maybe you've never heard of Every Dollar. It's everydollar.com. This is not sponsored in any way. This is just the tool I use. Some people use Mint. Some people use just an Excel spreadsheet. Some people use Google Sheets. All that works. But for me, Every Dollar is, is the best. It has kept me in line with my budget. I enjoy using the app. It's an app on your phone, but I use it on my computer. I like to type. I'm more of a typer. I'm the slowest texter in the world, FYI. A side note here, I feel like every time I talk about Dave Ramsey, I get a mixed reaction. I have some people that are like, yes, Dave Ramsey, baby steps, awesome, love Dave Ramsey. And then I always get a couple nasty comments. Like the last time I mentioned Dave Ramsey, someone said, oh, all you Dave Ramsey clones are all the same. And I was thinking, if you mean, we all prioritize a budget that works for us, then yes, we are all the same. I am a big fan of what works, and this works for me. When you sign up for every dollar, they send you an email every month before the month starts to remind you of stuff. I pulled this up. It says, it's time to set up your June budget. Summer's coming. We know what's coming with it. Summer-related expenses. We can't just sit poolside sipping sparkling water and hoping the budget will work itself out darn. You've got to get in there, copy over May's budget, and then move things around to make room for these June specific expenses. So that's a big thing for me that I didn't realize before I started using every dollar is that every month you need a unique budget. You can't just set a budget in January and then use it the whole year. Every month is different. And in my first budgeting video that I ever talked about budgeting, I'll link that above, I talked about this. And for example, my July budget looks way different than my March budget. I said, what's happening in March? Nothing. What's happening in July or September? Oh, sweet goodness. September, it's like everything is happening. I cannot budget any month the same as another month because different things are happening. And in this email, they send an example. For example, Father's Day. Father's Day, I always have to put into my budget. I honor and respect and love my dad and me and my brother and my son for his grandfather. We always go out of our way to do something special for my dad. Father's Day is a little, I don't want to say easier than Mother's Day, but dad doesn't really want a ton of stuff. He we usually give him like a hundred dollars. That's what we usually give my dad. Between my brother and I, we usually give him like a hundred bucks and uh, take him out for a nice dinner with my mom, me, my brother, my mom, dad, and and Caden, of course. Not buns though. You can't come buns. He wants to come, but he can't come. Um, the next thing on this list is farmers markets, all those veggies and donuts. It says mm, donuts. Uh, lawn care, if you're a homeowner, maybe you have to mow the lawn now, maybe you need a new lawn mower, maybe you need to borrow one, maybe you need to hire someone, whatever, lawn care. Air conditioning, higher costs, absolutely. My power bill goes up in June. Does it go up for you? I don't know where you guys live, 
but um, I live in Maine and all winter we play for heat and then um, all summer I've got to pay for air conditioning and one is more expensive than the other but just got to account for it. Vacations or staycations. You guys know I love a staycation, but are you planning a summer vacation? Are you going away? Are you staying here and doing a staycation? That might cost extra or might cost you less depending on how you do it, but just have it something you consider. It says box loads of sunscreen. Uh, yeah, we need sunscreen. I am the fairest person in the world next to my son and we need lots of sunscreen. That's an additional expense in the summer. This says water activities because it's hot and outdoor barbecues. If you're gonna have host a barbecue, if you're going to be attending barbecues, that all costs extra. Bringing meat, bringing chips, bringing buns and ketchup and condiments, all that kind of stuff. Like that is an additional expense that maybe you don't have in the winter. So that's definitely something to consider. Maybe you need to adjust your food budget slightly. Uh, take all of this into account. It says, now you know how to get money ready for next month. Perfect, because that's what you do. You budget and you know things. <laughs> Go forth and conquer budgeter. Set your June budget in every dollar today. And um, I would, because it works. Um, <laughs> but the other things to think about in June are, do you have any birthdays coming up? Birthdays, anniversaries, baby showers, wedding, bridal showers. Do you have, we actually get an awesome gift at Christmas. My brother gets me and my son annual passes to a local amusement park. So half of it is rides and half of it is a water park. So we get to go there all summer, enjoy the slides and all the water stuff and go on the fun rides. So that's another thing. What we usually do is we bring our own food because you can bring coolers and stuff. So we usually pack our own lunch and then go there and spend the day for free. The only thing that costs us anything is the gas to get there. And of course, the sunscreen. Is this sort of thing helpful for you? Let me know in the comments if, if you like talking about budgeting specific so that we don't forget stuff. Because there's nothing worse than you forget, you look in your calendar and you're like, oh, a wedding I totally forgot to budget for and then you having to reach for it from where like where are you gonna get that from when possible I like to over budget slightly perhaps in I have one category that's Kate and one that's Kaden so say I put a hundred dollars in each and then I don't use it all then I can use it where I need to or Again, any category that I don't use up fully, I put directly into savings. When I get to the end of my month, if I'm like, ooh, I've got $50 extra, it always goes into savings. I don't think, ooh, what else can I buy? I think, how much can I save? Let me know if you've got your June budget ready or if this has inspired you to make one. I hope you have an awesome weekend and I'll talk to you guys soon. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up hit subscribe, hit the bell, you know the drill. Bye guys. Kaden, what do you want to budget for this summer? Ice cream. <gasps> That's such a good one. That actually reminds me, before I go anywhere, I wanted to remind you in the summer, maybe your eating out budget gets larger. Mine definitely does. When the summer comes, we have been cooped up in this winter nightmare. For so long we want to get outside we want to go to restaurants where you can sit outside oh I'm so excited just thinking about it because we are cooped up all winter long and there are so many opportunities in the summer to get fresh seafood here in Maine and sit outside and enjoy the Sun and hang out with our friends so that's a big line item that gets a little bit bigger for me in the summer, I don't want to miss those opportunities and I don't want to say, no, I can't go anywhere because I didn't budget for it. So that's a big one. If you're going to go to restaurants in the summer or go out to eat a little bit more, don't forget about that. Okay, I'm really going to go this time.